डियर व्यूवर्स इन द व्यू ऑफ अपकमिंग सिविल सर्विसेज प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जामिनेशन पी टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन रिविजन सीरीज हैज बिन स्टार्टेड टू मेक योर प्रिपरेशन बेटर द प्रोग्राम विल बी पब्लिश्ड एट नाइन ए एम डेली होप दिस इनिशियटिव ऑफ आर्स विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू थैंक यू Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devidi, and in this segment, we are going to discuss objective questions to help you for preparing for prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Consider the following statements regarding Gupta age. The Guptas were the first to build structural temples distinctly different from ancient rock cut temples. In this age, both Shankhlipi and Brahmi are stylized scripts used primarily. For names and signatures, we have to select the correct statement. Both these statements are correct. The correct answer to this question is option C. Recently, the Archaeological Survey of India discovered remains of an ancient temple dating back to the Gupta period of the fifth century in Bilsar village in Uttar Pradesh's Eta district. Two pillars were excavated on which there is an inscription about Kumar Gupta I, the powerful ruler of Gupta dynasty in Shankhlipi. conch script or shell script typical of the 5th century ad and both shankhlipi and brahmi are stylized scripts used primarily for names and signatures the guptas were the first to build structural temples distinctly different from the ancient rock cut temples moving on to the next question with reference to g20 consider the following statements it is an informal group of 19 countries and the european union it is headquartered in belgium the members represent about 2/3 of the world's population we have to select the correct statement the first statement is correct and second is not because g20 does not have any sort of institution or headquarter so second is incorrect the third is correct so the correct answer is option c that is one and three only recently india's agriculture minister addressed the g20 agriculture meeting virtually and the g20 operates as a forum and not as an organization therefore it doesn't have any permanent secretariat or management and administrative structure g20 is an informal grouping of 19 countries plus the eu with representatives of the imf and the world bank moving on the membership comprises a mix of the world's largest advanced and emerging economies representing about 2/3 of the world's population 85% of global gross domestic product 80% of global investment and over 75% of global trade moving on consider the following statements regarding power sector in india electricity is a state subject under the 7th schedule of the indian constitution 100% foreign direct investment is permitted under automatic route in the power sector the district electricity committees will oversee all power related schemes of the government and its impact at district level so we have to select the correct statement electricity is actually a concurrent subject and not a state subject so the first is incorrect while the rest of the two statements second and third are correct the correct answer to this question is option b recently the ministry of power has issued an order for the setting up of district level committees to improve the quality of electricity supply in the country and electricity as discussed is a concurrent subject actually and 100% foreign direct investment is permitted under automatic route in the power sector the district electricity committees will oversee all power related schemes of the government and its impact at district level moving on consider the statements woolly mammoth is a member of an extinct group of elephants found as fossils in pleistocene deposits the de extinction of woolly mammoths can lead to the reduction of climate change impacts and asian elephants are the closest living relative of the woolly mammoths so we have to select the correct statement first statement is definitely correct that they have their fossils in the pleistocene deposits and they are extinct the de extinction of them can yes lead to reduction of climate change impacts and the third is also correct so the correct answer to this question is option d recently the united states startup colossal 
Biosciences has announced its plan to bring woolly mammoths or animals like them back from extinction and into the frosty landscape of the Siberian tundra. And we have discussed the first and the second as well as third statement. There is an addition, although Asian elephants are the mammoths' closest living relative. So their genomes resemble those of woolly mammoths. Moving on, consider the following statements regarding the digital payment systems. UPI is an advanced version of Bharat bill payment system. There is no minimum or maximum limit on the amount of funds that could be transferred using National Electronic Funds Transfer, that is NEFT, Rupee is an NPCI-operated payment card that also has its validity in Singapore, Bhutan and the UAE. So, we have to select the incorrect statement. UPI is an advanced version of immediate payment system, that is IMPS. So, the first is incorrect. While the rest of the two statements are correct, the correct answer to this question is option A as we had to select the incorrect statement. The central banks of India and Singapore will link their respective fast digital payment systems, UPI and PayNow, for instant, low-cost, cross-border fund transfers and the UPI is an advanced version of immediate payment service or system, round-the-clock funds transfer service to make cashless payments faster, easier and smoother. There is no limit, either minimum or maximum on the amount of funds that could be transferred using NEFT. The rupee card can also be used for transactions in Singapore, Bhutan, UAE, Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. Exercise Samudra Shakti Bilateral maritime exercise between India and is happening between India and which of the following countries? Mongolia, Indonesia, Thailand, Singapore. The correct answer to this question is option B, that is Indonesia. Recently, the Indian and Indonesian Navy participated in the third edition of the Samudra Shakti in Jakarta. Exercise Samudra Shakti is a bilateral maritime exercise between India and Indonesia. Consider the following pairs. Country you have to match with the parliament in them. Sweden, Rikstagen. Finland, Storting. Norway, Adius, Kunta. We have to select the correctly matched pair. So, the correct answer to this question should be Sweden, yes, has a parliament named Rikstegen. But Finland's parliament is known as Edius Kunta and Norway's is known as Tortig. So, only the first is correct. The correct answer is option B. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jai Shankar met his Norwegian counterpart Ine Eriksson on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly meeting in New York last night. Storting is the Supreme Legislature of Norway established in 1814 by the constitution of Norway and the Finland parliament's name is Eduskunta and the Swedish word Riksdag is definite in form by the name of Rikstegen is a general term for parliament or assembly but it is typically used only for Sweden's legislature and certain related institutions. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to the Central Reserve Police Force. It was originally constituted as the Crown Representative Police in 1939 and it works under the Ministry of Defence. So we have to select the correct statement. CRPF, yes, was originally constituted as the Crown Representative Police in 1939 and it works under the Ministry of Home Affairs. So first is correct, second is thought, the correct answer is option A. A considerable decline in the involvement of senior officers has led to a dip in quality of operations such as not setting up tactical resting sites for troops. This is a key shortcoming listed by the CRPF in a review of the forces Chhattisgarh based units over the last two years. CRPF, it is one of the premier central armed police force of India under the Ministry of Home Affairs for internal security and that is why it comes under the Ministry of Home Affairs, originally constituted as the Crown Representative Police in 1939, it is one of the oldest central paramilitary forces and after independence, the force was renamed as CRPF, that is Central Reserve Police Force by an Act of the Parliament in 1949. Consider the following statements with respect to new bad bank structure of India. When purchasing bad debts, it will pay 50% of the agreed price in cash and the remaining 50% will be in the form of security receipts. 
NARCL has been incorporated under the Societies Registration Act of 1860. We have to select the incorrect statement. NARCL has been incorporated as a company under the Companies Act. So the second statement is incorrect. So is the first because while purchasing bad debts, it will pay 15% of the agreed price in cash and remaining 85 as security receipts. So none of them being correct, the correct answer to this question is option C. Recently, the Union Cabinet approved the rupees 30,600 crore guarantee to back security receipts issued by National Asset Reconstruction Company Limited for acquiring assets, that is, stressed loan assets. NARCL has been incorporated under the Companies Act and has applied to the Reserve Bank of India for a license as an asset reconstruction company. So, the NARCL will first purchase the bad loans from the commercial banks and public banks and paying them 15% of the agreed price in cash. Remaining 85 will be in the form of security receipts. When the assets are sold with the help of NARCL, the commercial banks with the will be paid back the rest. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to Hilsa fish. It lives more of its life in the ocean, most of its life in the ocean, but during the rainy season, the Hilsa moves towards the estuary. It is the state symbol of Assam and IUCN status is vulnerable. We have to select the correct statement. So, first statement is correct that it lives most of its life in the ocean while the rainy season is beginning, it moves towards the estuary. And it is not the state symbol of Assam but West Bengal and Tripura. And the IUCN status is least concerned. None of, uh, so first is correct but the second and the third are incorrect. The correct answer to this question is option B. The government of Bangladesh has given permission to 52 trading organizations to export Hilsa fish to India on the occasion of Durga Puja. It lives most of its life in the ocean, but during the rainy season, the Hilsa moves towards the estuary where the rivers of India and Bangladesh meet the Bay of Bengal. The Hilsa is a species of fish related to the herring in the family Clupeidae. It is the national fish of Bangladesh and a state symbol in the Indian states of West Bengal and Tripura, the IUCN status is least concerned. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to Shanghai Cooperation Organization, Exercise Peaceful Mission is a part of it, Kazakhstan, China, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan and Russia are the original members of SCO known as the Shanghai Five. We have to select the correct statement. Yes, Exercise Peaceful Mission is a part of it, that is correct. But Uzbekistan is not a part of the Shanghai Five. Tajikistan, Kazakhstan, China, Kyrgyzstan and Russia are. The correct answer to this question is option A. Soon after the army's participation in the Zapad exercise in Russia, a contingent of the army and air force is now participating in the SCO exercise peaceful mission 2021 at Russia's Orenburg. Shanghai Cooperation Organization is a permanent intergovernmental international organization which is Eurasian political economic and military organization having an aim to maintain peace, security and stability in the region. Exercise Peaceful Mission is a multilateral and joint counter-terrorism exercise which is conducted biennially as a part of military diplomacy between Shanghai Cooperation Organization member states. Prior to the creation of SCO in 2001, Kazakhstan, China, Kyrgyzstan, Russia and Tajikistan were the members of Shanghai Five. Moving on to the next question, which is the practice question. Consider the following countries, Rwanda, Kenya, Somalia, Ethiopia. Which of the above countries have a border with Tanzania? So I hope you'll be answering it correctly in the comment segment. That's it for today. Tomorrow, we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.